Welcome to your market update and charts of the day. It's Monday, the 27th of May. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets. To lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Come across the news today. Well, of course, on Friday, we saw US equities bounce upwards again, ending the week with a positive day. Today, within striking range of record highs. And this, of course, is despite rate cut timing concerns that were prevalent in the middle of the week. The Dow underperformed again which was somewhat surprising. And just note, it is Memorial Day today in the US, which means the NYSE is closed. US futures are near neutral in Asian trading, but Asian equity markets generally are rebounding after Friday's weakness. The ASX is up around 0.7% in the morning's trading. European futures are pointing to a cautious open, although the FTSE is closed today for a spring bank holiday. The US dollar index gave up two days again, so it dropped back into a range, soft again in Asia. And gold, as a result, held after the losses that were sustained earlier in the week. A little positive today again, likewise with copper futures, up today after a very soft week last week. Oil also recovered a little bit off three-month lows to move back into the trading range that it's been in previously. Bitcoin looks very uncertain in terms of what to do next. It's trading around 70,000 with 73,300, the record high. And it is a quiet day today with some markets closed, as we've already referenced. German business climate numbers, the only data point of note today, which might cause a ripple in the euro. Throughout the week, the highlights are the US GDP number on Thursday and PCE data for Q1, Q1 Thursday, and the more important year on year on Friday, the highlights. Uh, Friday's data is going to be critical. A couple of charts of core RI today. We're going to start with the Kiwi Swissy. And I'll put it on the daily chart just so you can see context here. And this breach of 56 cents is really rather important. You can see here, there could be a move up. So those who trade longer term time frames to around about 56.55. If we look back at where we were in April and May, to bring it to the hourly chart, you can see this level that's key in a little more detail in today's trading. So we have actually breached that level, which is also taken as above Friday, Thursday, and Wednesday highs from last week. So this could precipitate some more buying as we go throughout the day. Worthwhile keeping an eye on. Uh, and there's your profit target potentially there. On the ASX, we're actually liking News Corp Limited. You can see there we've had a really strong bounce off this 200 MA uh, after an earnings candle. Since then, we've pushed higher. If we put it on a line chart, you can see the key level with a bit more clarity on close prices at that 42.40 level. So that will be the level we will keep an eye on over the next couple of days to see if we can get a breach of 42.40. That would make this all-time high. So one worth keeping on your radar. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.